YouTube, it's your girl RG3. Today, I'm going to showcase one of my best wave homies method. It's a lay and shine method. A lot of cats been trying it on the wave pages and on Instagram, so I figured it was a hot method to try. If it's not one of my personal methods and I bring it to you from somebody else, that means it's fire. My boy Franklin Western, um, what that brush do. Lay and shine method. So we're going to get straight into this method. I'm going to let you know what you need and what you need to do. So first, it's a lay and shine method. You're going to need firm seven row brush. His instructions was the firmest seven row brush that his hair length could handle. A nine row soft, but oddly, I don't have a nine row soft. I think this is a 10 or 11, but it will do. A spray bottle. I'm going to drop the link in the description for where to cop on Amazon for these boys. Sealant oils. And he suggested yoba oil, black seed, castor. I used this one. This one has castor. And in the ingredients, it shows grape seed oil. I'm only missing yoba. So sealant oils, black castor, grape seed oil. You're going to need an ounce of water. Franklin says use an ounce of water. Soap do rag. You're going to need something for double compression. A plastic bag. Oh, and a fine tooth comb. All right, let's go. So it's looking like y'all, we drilling out here for the new year. So just looking like. I went out yesterday to a family outing. I did not brush any yesterday. None. No brush work yesterday at all. So I'm going to need this. Um, I can't lie. I'm already laid. It's already shining. But we're just going to do the method um, to put this thing into overdrive. The first instructions is to comb with a fine tooth comb for 10 minutes. So y'all know I love to comb from the crown out. Everything that I do is from the crown out. I love to be consistent with how I brush my crown, how I comb my crown. A lot of us develop forks around our crown and we grow them out of our crown and it, then they become a headache. So if you practice some proper crown work, you will uh, have less forks and your connections will be better. Take your time, comb with the grain all the way around your hair with the fine tooth comb for 10 minutes. He wants you to take the firmest seven row brush and get a 15 minute brush session in, okay? Let's get to it. So for anybody out there that's wondering, please brush your hair in the same directions that you combed it. And if you're working on your crown and connections, please brush your hair from the crown out, just like I instructed you to do with the comb. So you're gonna get a 15 minute power session in with the Farmer's Seven Row Brush. As you can see in the thumbnail, Franklin's connections are on point. I had to do this video. I had to show him some love. Anybody that's out there putting in true brush work, I had to show some love. I like to showcase other people's method because that's my style, y'all. I like to show love to people who show love to me. Real recognize real. So his brush work is phenomenal. His waves is phenomenal. And the method is actually good. So you're gonna get a 15 minute brush session in with the firm brush after you get 15 minutes in with the firm brush you're gonna grab a nine row soft brush 15 minutes so so far we've combed trained the hair in the direction we wanted it to go brushed it with the firm brush laying those layers down that we lifted up now we're using the soft brush to lay all of that work back down Franklin has set you up for a session that's at least 40 minutes, okay? 10 minutes of combing and 15 minutes per brush. So this is the most important step. Don't rush through this step. Lay the hair down with the soft brush so that when we plastic bag and spray the oil and water, that everything will be already laid perfectly. I've seen all textures use this method. Um, with success. Course waivers, please don't think this is not a method for y'all. This method is for everybody. Coarse, medium, straight. Um, brush times may vary, but I'm giving you precise directions from the man. Course waivers, please stop saying that the soft brush does not work for you. You have to learn how to use the soft brush long enough. That's your problem. Use these soft brushes long enough. Give it time. You got to use a good soft brush, no cheap brushes. Use a good soft brush that's going to give you good pull. After we just soft brushed for 15 minutes, mix one ounce of water 
in a spray bottle. I'm just gonna eyeball an ounce of water because I don't have a measuring cup. I say that's an ounce. Ounce of water. Either said 10 to 12 drops of oil or 10 to 15. So I'm gonna use 10 to 12. Oh, that's like three. All right, 10 drops of oil. This step was unclear, so I'll kind of uh, fill this step, step in for y'all. You're gonna shake it. So what you're gonna do is plastic bag it first for more lay. So we laid it with the soft. We're gonna lay it down some more with the plastic bag. Make sure you go around the head um, a few times. Spray the oil and water mix. Double compress. Do not unrag for at least two hours, okay? Double compression. I'm old school, I like the King Cash method. King Cash is when you just put the dewy on with a stocking cap and leave the strings hanging. Yes, I picked the wrong color, but that's neither here nor there. I will unrag in two hours and put a fire orange rag on on y'all, so don't trip. Don't unrag for two hours. That's basically the method. I wanna shout out Franklin Western and what that brush do for a fire method and let me display his method. I'm going to leave his social media handles in the description at the bottom. I want y'all to show him love. Follow him on Instagram. It's your girl RG3. It's 2019. Nothing but fire coming y'all away. Live from the 313. Over and out. Deuce.